Sometimes when I have hard stuff to talk about, I prefer to have Otis with me because it softens the blow a little bit. Not that I'm using him or anything, but I just feel like these are hard topics. And it's about getting rid of stuff. And it's about the things we say, or I hear you say, or I said it last weekend when I was standing in my garage about something. So we, but here are the most common sentences I hear, and why maybe we shouldn't listen to them. But I paid a lot for this. Okay, as you're starting to get rid of stuff, and you realize that time has passed, and not only are you not going to use it, but people on Craigslist don't want it probably either. And by the time you go to all the hassle to post it, to post an ad about it or do whatever, how much are you really going to get for it? And that's a lot of time and energy spent on somebody else who probably doesn't want it either. Now there are some things that are out of that realm, but most of the time, if you don't want it, but you don't know what to do with it, a lot of people also don't want it either. Hard fact. Don't be so down about that. You don't have a lot of stuff. So, <clears throat> next one is, but I may use this one day. I myself said that last weekend. We were in the garage and I saw on the top of a shelf a 30 cup coffee maker I have had for 25 years. <laughs> Wow, see that protection? That was a mailman. <laughs> I saw the 30 cup coffee maker and I said, well, that is nice to have though, just in case. And I really thought to myself, when is the last time I used that? But more comical, I thought, when have I had 30 people in this house? And on top of that, who's really drinking that much coffee anymore? So I took it off the shelf and it went in the Goodwill pile. Sometimes you're just not going to use it again. The next one. But it's so comfortable. That big chair that doesn't look good, doesn't really, uh, it's just dragging everything down and I can't get rid of it because it's so comfortable. Speaking from the person who took a very long time to get rid of her Go-Go's t-shirt, don't bother me, I'm on vacation, that was threadbare, even with little holes in it. Why? It was super comfortable. It's just, it was comfortable. It's very comfortable. And then I went, oh my gosh, I got to take a picture of it. Take a memory of it. I got to get rid of this thing. That's a hard one because comfort does win out. I understand that. But if we're in the business of home improvement and making things look better, now you might say, Pam, hold on a second. Stop right there. My spouse or my person I'm living with says, I don't really care what the house looks like. I really want to give that person a comfortable thing. Let him or her have that comfortable thing. But at some point, you got to realize that some stuff is dragging you down. And so maybe you give him or her that one thing. You see where I'm going with that. Be a little fair. The next thing is... And this is such a tough one, and I understand, especially if it's a family member. Oh, but that was a gift. And that is really hard, but I want you to ask yourselves, but do you really like it? But do you really like it? Because you live in your house every day, and it could be a gift from a friend, or it could be... Sometimes, I find, when we're trying to get rid of stuff, too, we'll say things like, well, that was, you know... Something that somebody get, you know, and then I found out they don't really even know the person and they don't really like it all that much. I'm not saying re gift it, I'm saying it just shouldn't even have space in your house. That, that, that's all I'm saying. Because that too is just another thing, a clod hopper thing that's sitting there that you don't particularly care for. And lastly, I can't believe you've sat here the whole time, Otis, but I know you're interested in this and you don't have a whole lot of stuff, so you probably feel good about yourself. But the biggest thing, too, is, I have two I'm going back and forth with, but um, when we talk about this stuff, we could easily talk about rooms like this. I'm going to touch on this one real quick about our closets. 
when we say things like, but I might wear that again. The thing you gotta realize, girls and guys, you gotta realize styles are changing so fast that even if something fits or something, whatever, you got different style cuts of t-shirts, you got different blouse sizes, you got different collar sizes, skirts are going up and down in the hems and whatever. But you put it back there thinking it's gonna come around. It's, it's, it's just not, it's just, it's not gonna make you feel good about you wearing out. So it's the same thing about your house. Use that mentality that, you know, why am I jamming all this stuff in the closet when you're not gonna wear it again? It's just taking up valuable, like I'd like to say, valuable real estate in your closet. Think about that, because you can apply it to home stuff. Oh, but I might, I should shove that in a back room because I might use that in case I need an extra chair for whatever. If you're not in love with it, you're probably not going to do that. I hope this wasn't too painful. Look at, he got through it unscathed. And I wanted to put this out before I'm going away for a few days. So I might do something fun on Friday. <clears throat> Next week, I'm going to do, on this Tuesday, I'm going to do five sentences when it comes to home improvement that you find yourself saying. That might not be the case. Have a fantastic few days. I will see you very soon. Bye.